everybody, welcome back to the Whitaker Way. Larry here, <clears throat> headed up to the uh, up to the cabin here, and uh, gonna do a little bit of digging with the new backhoe. And uh, we're also meeting with the surveyors um, to put in a couple pin, uh, pins or posts um, on the uh, front half of our land there, and uh, get that all squared away. And we're gonna be doing some. Uh, some pins on the back half of the land. There's already three or four pins already in from the neighbor, and they uh, they calculated those. Those are good, so that's that's a bonus for us. Uh, should be a little bit cheaper to get it surveyed, and um, maybe I'll uh, if they let me. Maybe they'll they'll uh, they'll let me videotape some of what they're doing and um, and uh, see if we can get that uh, that on camera, which would be nice. Especially the back pin or two. I know the one pin's pretty far back there, uh, but they actually have to put the pins in the ground. So they're using, uh, I believe, two foot pieces of rebar, which uh, I already bought some more rebar to put right beside it to, uh, I think I'm gonna do five foot down into the ground on each one. So, but uh, stick with us and uh, see what goes on for the day. We're gonna be unloading the tractor and uh, doing all that stuff, so I'd like to get some uh, backhoe time on the tractor as well. I have yet to uh, really use that much, and uh, I want to dig some stuff up. So, all right, stick with us. You might be up on the top of the hill. Oh boy. If so, I can ride you up to Rick's if you want. <laughs> you see what it's doing? It's telling us our location. See it's position. 60s and 39. Huh. That's, that's okay. Like 60 feet toward the base. I'm hoping we're right at the base of this highway. It should be. That is a high wall for sure. There we go. Now you don't have to climb the hill. Sometimes in pines it blocks satellites and it takes a little bit to get a fixed solution. Ah, uh, okay. That makes sense with the beacon and everything. Floating. 
three feet toward the base, and I'll put that way. Cap it and ribbon it. So what is it you suggest to put next to there, like a T-post or something? Yeah, I'd put a T-post or something. See, because these, these oak glass will last a couple of years, but uh, metal T-post will last forever. Yeah, okay. They're only like, I think they're like 10 or 15 bucks. But, uh, yeah.
the tractor in there. Has a few inches on each side. In fact, that two by six back here got stuck under the tire, but that's how I uh, had the old tractor in there. I don't believe I can run the uh, the ROPS or the roll bar um, all the way up, but that bucket just fits in there with a couple inches on each side of this tree and the, the barn there. There's a little shed that we got here and I thought I was going to have to take that, uh, that lower, uh, kayak off of the, uh, off of the wall and move it somewhere. I was thinking maybe up there, but, uh, and it just fits in there. Like I said, like a glove. So again, literally got a, maybe a foot on that side and maybe a foot on that side. But really the biggest worry is this. The shag bark hickory tree right there, which is a freaking monster. I did not want to cut that down. I think that's about a hundred foot high. That's my guess, but uh got a little bit more work to do today. I just wanted to test fit that. I'm gonna see if the roll bar can go up and fit under there, but if not, no worries. I already uh came in and pulled the communication line down. It was literally like Two inches too high and it got stuck on that u-bolt that i put the uh led bar on there but uh it's not a huge like a crucial line that we need anymore since we switched from uh verizon to uh at&t or t-mobile which at&t oops t-mobile use their uh their uh service but this was just a cell booster here that came down and i had uh pulled that over but that was no worries we can put that back up as you can see i have mere inches between the shed and the tree but what else uh what else i'm looking for to, or looking uh looking at is how close this is here the roll bar to the top of the lean to so we're gonna pull out nice and slow here see if we can just sneak it out of here and i really i'm not concerned about the um Yeah, that, that's just mere inches. I'm not concerned about the ones that we can see here. Pretty close. Yep, it hits. So, whenever we're pulling out, we got to put the rocks on, the rocks down. Kind of afraid of that, but that's okay. That's why I uh, like the folding rocks. So we'll pull that down real quick and stick the tractor back in. So I was able to put some lights on the tractor. Put that, uh, that's a 14 inch uh, LED bar facing forward on the top of the roll, the old bar there. And I got uh, two of those LEDs facing backwards. So I got some more cleanup to do. There's some trees that came down. A couple small trees. Uh, this one decided to take out our wood shack again. I got to fix that up a little bit better. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get those uh, IBC totes, the steel uh, totes there. And I'm going to fill those up with wood and start stacking those and get me some... Uh, Excuse me, get me some uh, pallet forks for the front of the tractor. And then come hunting season, if I want to, I can drop a whole load right there in front of the door and uh, won't have to worry about water. Or, I'm sorry, I'm looking at the water bin. Won't have to worry about wood. It'll be right there by the door. So we'll see what happens. Um, we got plenty of projects uh, lined up for this tractor, and uh, that might be it. So. All right, well, I'm going to sign off here. Uh, enjoy yourselves, and everybody have a good day. And uh, if you like the, uh, the content, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and uh, throw a comment in the comment section.